AFC West. Let's go to the AFC West. Let's <laughs> move into it. Our AFC draft reaction or AFC West draft reaction. And I am pumped about this one. Obviously, our boy Michael's in here. Uh, McKinnon, he is also an AFC West guy. And then, of course, you got the Chargers and the Raiders in there. We are going to start, though, with the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Their win total for the season now is 11.5. Their team needs are, which is not really much at all because I still think they're going to be loaded. They're going to be fine. Yeah, we use the word need very loosely here, okay? Yeah. The, the only holes that they've got, which really isn't a hole at all, is cornerback, linebacker, and offensive line. Um, and that's, like, the offensive line thing is is real. Like, they actually needed offensive line help. Um, I mean, they got a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah. You're the Super Bowl winner. The league, the NFL is the best at the rich just don't get richer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason that that is the most competitive league there is. You've, you've got a little top heaviness year in and year out, but for the most part, half of the playoff teams don't make the playoff the following year. And usually the Super Bowl loser is one of those teams. Yes. Yes, you are right. So, I mean, this is, this is big-time turnover. They made two draft picks that I – I actually kind of are excited about the rest of them. I could care less. Yeah. We'll uh, let, let's go ahead and move through them. Uh, they only had six picks running back Clyde Edwards Hilaire with the last pick in the first round, uh, last pick in the second or cl- second to last, whatever it is uh, in the second round, they got linebacker Willie Gay out of Mississippi state. That's it. Big that's fan of that pick. Yeah. Uh, that's, third, that's the list. <laughs> yeah. Offensive tackle Lucas Niang out of TCU in the third round safety, Legeria Sneed out of law tech. Uh, it, look, Louisiana tech, like it, this this kid is underrated, man. He's he's okay. pretty good. Uh, round five, edge rusher Mike Dana out of Michigan. Round seven, they got cornerback Thagarius Keys out of Tulane. Uh, basically, everyone from like honestly, third round through seventh round are pretty much going to be projects. Like they they could end up being really yeah, they good could, players. They could play in the league for a couple of years, and they yeah. could be really good and they could flame out and not even make the team that's fine I, I mean I don't think any of them are like are bad at all um, no I'm, I'm not knocking on them they just didn't I mean this is one of the things about winning the Super Bowl and you pick last in every round and you know it's hard because they don't really have a whole lot of glaring needs or holes and you know what they did have you I guess they could have drafted an offensive line in the first pick and the second pick and really bolster that thing but I while I'm not very moved by their draft as a whole. My favorite pick in the entire draft was absolutely Clyde oh, going yeah. at the end of that league. I, I mean, it's the only thing that actually got me emotional and and, and hit me in the feels. Um, hardworking kid, just a just an absolute beast. And everybody in the word, world had him third or fourth out of all the running backs. And it, it just – when they came up, I wanted the Chiefs to take one of the running backs just because I, I I like seeing strength on strength, and I wanted to to just see that offense actually have a a, a big time back and what they could do. And when the stories came out that the GM calls Andy Reid and says, "Who do you want?" and he's like, "I'm not going to tell you who I'm thinking. I've already written my name down. Who do you want?" He says. Clyde's the guy. He says, okay. And then he calls Patrick, sends Patrick Mahomes a text and is like, what are you thinking here? And he says, Clyde. And that's it. <laughs> and and the GM like showed like his paper and, and showed both of them. He was like, that's the guy. We, we're, it was a unit. This was not a debate. This was not a, you know, we could go this direction or that direction. Everybody said, if we get this kid on our roster, it takes us to the next level. Um, and and it just meant a lot that that was, that was my guy. That was yeah. my guy, and it meant a lot. You got that right. Uh, jumping in on the chat, uh, Jim John, he said, LSU locker rooms for the win, though. That is talking about the uh, the stadium debate that we were having before. So, yeah, yeah. LSU's locker room, yes. Uh, yes. And then McKinnon said the Chiefs had a good draft, but definitely not great. Their free agent spending has been relatively low, too. They don't really need it, but I'd love to see them find some help on the offensive line and really help for the linebacker or and real help, well, help for the linebackers gone. and corners. 
help help is done unless a bunch of kids we talked about earlier jump into the supplemental draft yeah. um and and you can do something there help is gone all the free age all the offensive linemen for there there's no cam newton and andy dalton sitting out there at the offensive line position yeah. everybody's got a job already now you got that right you got that right it's crazy all right so uh as far as you know liking disliking uh loving hating i i like what they did I, I like I think, it. I, I like think it, it well. because of Clyde. If you were to replace Clyde with Jonathan Taylor or Dobbins, would I like it still? Maybe. If you were to replace them with an offensive lineman that, you know, whatever the next offensive lineman that went in the second round jumped up there, I probably would say I dislike it. Just yeah. I'm sure he's a big help to the team. But I think they, they took some flyers on some guys. They they got some value picks there. You know, Sneed out of Louisiana Tech, I think is gonna be pretty good. Keys like need some work out of Tulane, but you know he could be a serviceable corner. Um, and Willie Gay is a stud whenever he's actually playing. Obviously, yes. Willie Gay has some problems. He's the one that uh, that broke the quarterback's jaw before the bowl game. He, he, he was ain't suspended be for eight no jaws games in this locker room. No, he was suspended for uh, for eight games for uh, for academic issues. Yeah. Last year, and well, he don't have to worry about going to class. We're not worried about that yeah. either. And he's got a former bulldog that's a leader on that defense, and Chris Jones. He'll whip him into shape pretty good. Yeah. I think he'll get him in line, and and this will be a a Patrick Peterson to the Honey Badger kind of wrap your arm around him. Also, Honey Badger is still in that locker room as well. Pretty strong leader and uh, yep. and role model. He he'll be around some defensive guys that will say, "Hey, we're gonna act right. Let's go play ball." Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. I think that locker room is about as tight as a locker room is going to get. No, you're 100% right. 100% right. Uh, all right, so I like it. You like it.